Hello, it is a great day at a woman's place and our prayer is that you are having a wonderful day as well. I just wanted to pop on for a few minutes, share a few things with you, a couple of life updates about my braces, about my school journey, and share a little bit with you about the upcoming Resurrection Passover Easter celebration that's happening next Sunday. So first of all, the most important thing is what this this week is all about. We won't go into any teaching about it, but I do encourage you to perhaps go on Google and look up some things about Resurrection Day, look up some things about Passover, um, and even some things about Easter um, that you might not know or that you might be you might uh, be a little bit uh, shocked about some things that you learn. So it will help us though to be able to align ourselves properly with um, the mind the heart and the thoughts of God as we walk out our Christian journey. I'm enjoying mine. Let me ask you this question. Are you enjoying yours? Are you enjoying your Christian walk? Are you enjoying your walk with the Lord? Or do you find it at times to be a struggle? Do you find it at times to be uh, maybe even a hardship? Do you find it at times to be something where you're at the point where you throw up your hands and you say, you know what? I think I'm going to go a different direction. I understand that. I do. A lot of us have been in that place, but we also, those of us who have uh, redirected our course, have made up our mind to say, you know what? This one particular day or this one particular situation I cannot allow it to determine the longevity of my life. I cannot let it determine and dictate the the roads, the the stumbles, the forks in the road, or the decisions that I have to make in my life. I can't let this one situation determine my whole future here in this life and in the life to come. And so I just want to encourage you while we're going through this holy week, think about Jesus, how during this week, he went through some horrible things. He went through some devastating things, and yet he stayed focused on the end result. He stayed focused on the future that was to come. And so I want to encourage you to stay focused on what's coming, not necessarily what is happening here right now in our lives, because um, it's going to it's going to pass. It is going to pass. Now, I will say this. If there are some situations that are emergencies, take care of those emergencies. Do not put them on the back burner. Go ahead and do what you need to do. But do know that whatever we're dealing with this week, it is going to come to pass. It's going to pass over us and it's going to give us a new outlook on life eventually. Amen. So let me encourage you with that. Jesus went through the same thing. He went through a horrible week. This particular week, he went through a horrible week. Holy week is what we call it. But he went through some rejection. He went through some discouragement. He went through people denying the very person that he is. Um, he went through some situations where people were um, coming together and lying about him and coming up with um, plots and plans, you know, that were not to his benefit. At least they didn't think so to his benefit. And we might be going through some of those same things this very week. This very week, I want to encourage you to hold on, hold on and hang on and just hold on and hang on and wait until Resurrection Sunday. Wait until I'm not saying miracles are going to happen for you on Resurrection Sunday, but I will say this. God knows and he sees everything that you're dealing with and he has not forgotten about you. This world would have us think that the Lord has forgotten about us. If God is for me, why are all these things happening? If God is on my side, why hasn't this changed? If God loves me, then why am I being so hated by all these other people? And unfortunately, I can't answer all those questions. But what I can tell you is, 
I've been in each one of those circumstances. And what I can tell you is the God that I serve, the Lord of my salvation, has brought me through each and every one of those same questions. And I want to encourage you to know that he will bring you through them as well. While we're walking through this holy week with the Lord, let's put our hope, faith, and trust in him. That the same way he came out of it new, he came out of it strong, he came out of it victorious, that we will come out of it as well. New, strong, and victorious. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean to your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he'll direct your path. Amen. For a little bit of a life update, kind of switching gears here. Um, I'm still in school. I'm doing well. I'm loving almost part of all of it, almost all of it. There are some book studies that I have that are um, kind of difficult for me to understand or to grasp. I have to read it and reread it and reread it. I know some of you understand that and you can relate to me, but all and all across the board, I'm loving my um, educational journey. I'm loving what I'm learning. It is enhancing gifts in me that I knew were in me. And now I have a foundation where those gifts can begin to come forward. I'm so looking towards those days. Um, and so now um, I've got a whole stack full of books here. I don't know. If I, what do I dare to show them to you? I don't know if you can see them. See how these books are stacked up <laughs> right here and right here. I got a whole stack of books that I'm dealing with on a daily basis. <laughs> the stack keeps getting bigger and bigger and I'm loving it more and more. I'm thankful to God for this educational opportunity. I can't even begin to tell you um, how much I'm loving every part of it, every bit of it, even the hard parts. Amen. And so I'm thankful for that. Our course will be finished in five weeks. We are on week three of the second half of the second the spring semester. And so uh, vacation will start sometime around the end of May. And I am excited about that. Yay! I'm so excited about that. I'm ready for a vacation. I can't even tell you how much I'm ready for a vacation. Um, and then we'll hop back into it in August. It's just the way that it's going to go. But I appreciate what God has allowed me to be able to involve myself in. Um, now, I want to give you a life update on my braces and then we'll be done. Um, I should be seeing uh, my my braces doctor. That's what I call them. I don't know what all these fancy names are. Um, ophthalmologist? No. Orthodontist? My orthodontist. Um, in this month, and I think again in July, somewhere around there, they're going to um, put on another set of brackets, not brackets, but the, the wires. The wires are getting tighter. The wires are getting harder. The wires are getting stronger um, because I'm on the tail end. I'm, I'm headed toward the finish line of this journey. Um, for my braces. And so they're having to make sure that everything is aligned properly so that the outcome will be what we expect. Amen. Having said that, and then I'm going to let you go. Let me say this, help us, not help us, but yes, Lord, help us to align ourselves with your place, plan, and purpose. How many of you feel sometimes like because you don't have a big spotlight, because you're not on center stage, because you're kind of in the wings of things, um, your name is not in neon lights, that you feel like you're not really contributing um, to the degree that your heart desires to, to contribute? I want you to know I've been there. I am there. And I have been there. And the Lord has been really dealing with me about those of you, those of us who have those thoughts, who have the, it, it's kind of like a, it's like a, a punch in the gut sometimes that there's got to be more to life, more to my life than 
this. Let me tell you, there is more to your life than wherever you're at, but wherever you're at is fine. That doesn't mean that you're discounted. That doesn't mean you're ignored. That doesn't mean you're overlooked. That doesn't mean that you are rejected, at least not by God. Now, some people, you know, we may not always agree, but God still has a place, a plan, and a purpose for your life, even if you're not on center stage, even if your name is not in neon lights, even if the bright lights of Broadway are not shining on you. God still has a place, a plan, and a purpose for you. And I want to encourage you with that. When we get done with this Holy Week and we are uh, past the resurrection day, a woman's place is going to start sharing some things to encourage us in those areas because there are more of us in that particular area than there are under the bright lights. And I want to encourage you. I want to build you up. I want you to be edified in that area so that you too can say yes to the very will of God for your life, just like Jesus said yes to the Father for his life. Until we meet again, may God richly bless you. Remember, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. If you've not ever joined a woman's place, my name is Danette Hutchinson, and it is my honor to serve you in this capacity. May God richly bless you this week, and may you find wonderful things in the scriptures that delight your soul. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>